Hey guys, it's Jill Taking Weight Off. Welcome back. Welcome if you are new. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a little meal prepping, a little organizing, a little just getting myself ready and set up for the week. I hope that you guys enjoy. Before we get into the meal prep portion of this vlog, I guess, I don't know if you'd call it a vlog. I guess it's a day in the life vlog, but before we get into this, I want to say a huge thank you to Simpure for sponsoring this video. If there is one thing that I could say, well, there's like a couple of things that I miss from the last house that I was living in, but one of the main things that I miss is having my water filter right there on the fridge. I miss it so much. So when I moved here, I had to get, because I, I drink water all the freaking time. Y'all know this. It's a staple in any, any weight loss journey and anyone's life journey period. You should be drinking tons of water. So I was like, okay, I need to go and I need to get a Brita. So I got a Brita filter and a Brita pitcher filter and it's okay. Like it's not my favorite. The taste was like, okay. Again, it wasn't my favorite, but I knew going in that it did not take away all of the chemicals and all of that stuff. I think that it really just kind of filters for taste, if I'm not mistaken. So when Sim Pure reached out to me, I was like, absolutely, 100%, because I was already in the market of getting something other than having the Brita. So, super excited. I freaking love this thing. It's hands-free. It filters so much more than a Brita filters. It tastes so much better. I, I absolutely love the fact that it's hands-free. So this is a OR system, which is a reverse osmosis system, which means that it converts your tap water or your well water into pure and healthy drinking water by removing 99.99% .99 of the 1,000 plus pollutants and harmful substances with UV light and no need for installation. So the filters are already pre-installed when you get your system. I freaking, I love it. I've been testing it for uh, like several weeks, almost a month, I think. Love it. I 1000% recommend it. The taste, the convenience, um, it's on my countertop. You plug it in. It. You do have to do like a pretty extensive flushing process, but same with the Brita filter, you need to flush the filters before you get them going and really kind of start drinking out of them, but 100% recommend. So link is going to be down below for you guys to purchase if you guys are interested and any kind of discount codes are gonna be down below as well. Now let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so I got groceries this morning. They were delivered and I'm gonna go ahead and go through them and then we're going to do some meal prep, which I'm really excited about. So, start over here. I got some cilantro, yum. Let me know in the comments down below if you love cilantro or hate it. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Got some celery, some carrots. I never get them like this, okay? I usually get the baby carrots but I want some carrot sticks, so I'm actually gonna take the time today to peel these and cut them into sticks. Maybe I'll have my son help me, because he's really good at cutting, like, he's way better than I am. I uh, got some mozzarella cheese, some blueberries. These are for the kids, so just peanut butter crackers. I got some radishes, two limes, two onions, one red onion, some apple cider, that is for a recipe. I mean, all these things are for recipes or meal prep, whatever, uh, just to grab and go. Baby potatoes, strawberries. These were the only ones, they look kind of weird, but they say that they are sweet and flavorful and they're also greenhouse grown. So I don't know, this is a substitution, it's all that they had, so. By the way, look at my nails. I'll link them down below. It's spooky season, so I think I have like four or five pair of Halloween nails, so I was like, let's go ahead and, and get to wearing them because, yeah, it looks like I'll be wearing Halloween nails for my birthday, which is fine. I'm, I'm loving them. Um, okay, so got some part skim ricotta cheese, two Granny Smith apples, some frozen corn, 
these are for the kids these are six points this is how Weight Watchers works like anything that's like higher in sugar or carbs is like up there six points for a hundred calories that's it hundred calories so we'll not be eating these but my kids asked for them so I got them for them uh, we're gonna be making some crock pot lasagna I'm gonna film that for this uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it into a vlog or I think I think what I'm gonna do is make a separate crock pot video Weight Watcher friendly and then I'm also gonna post them to TikTok as well but here is a pound of lean ground beef and then I've also got some thin sliced chicken breast we kill grapes in this house especially I've learned y'all with my kids if I go ahead and clean this stuff I've been putting them in the mason jars and having it so we can grab and go already clean already ready to go already off the stem just in the mason jars they can grab and go they are more likely to eat them so the grapes I bought two bags last week they flew off the shelf I was like okay that's what I'm gonna do from now on so I got some lasagna these y'all I'm telling you if you love volume eating make this into a dip it's going to be 90 calories 15 grams of protein and you're going to be able to eat so many veggies with this like I kid you not you just have what I personally like to do is take this little container I will take so since we're we also have to add this so half a teaspoon so you maybe add like what I don't know I can't do the calculations on that 16 servings so 16 I don't know let's just say that that's 50 calories I don't know it's still an incredibly low calorie dip so that's what I do I do I take a tablespoon of this mix it into here and then I take a tablespoon of whatever milk I have on hand so usually it's whole milk because that's what my kids drink but yeah it's such a good dip and it's there's so much of it like if you at a party like to volume eat or something like that and you just want something really low calorie and you feel like you're missing out because everyone else is eating and you're like oh I can't eat any of this stuff or I don't want to eat any of this stuff this would be great to take to a football get together or whatever um anyways rice cauliflower I've been using these to bulk up burrito bowls and my lunches for this week are going to be burrito bowls so I also need to cook a bunch of rice this week too, which I'm going to put that in a mason jar as well. I got some apple, chicken apple sausage. These are the chips for the week. These specifically is what I wanted because I've been crushing these or yeah, crushing a bag into my, what's it called? Crushing a bag into my burrito bowl and it is it just like takes it over the top so freaking good so crushed tomatoes tomato sauce I got four packages of the ranch seasoning bless you um, a new Starbucks drink that I fell in love with I want to start making it at home and so I got the sugar-free vanilla syrup needed some cooking spray four bags of frozen broccoli some butter lettuce this is going to be for my burrito bowls as well and then I only asked for one pack but again they substituted with the two pack so these are all of the groceries I'm gonna go ahead and put most of this up and then the rest we're gonna meal prep so I'll see y'all in a sec okay I kind of started without y'all I kind of forgot I'm also feeling I don't know I feel kind of icky today or like right now is all of a sudden anyways cleaning the blueberries putting them in here I've got rice going because I'm gonna do a half a cup of this with a cup of cauliflower rice for my or maybe half a cup of cauliflower rice for my burrito bowls um, making some hard-boiled eggs I will link this down below it's been a lifesaver I absolutely love it here are my eggs um, and what I've done so far is just kind of organize the fridge so this is what it's looking like I still need to so let me go ahead and take that out so I can remember to do that but this is what the fridge is looking like so I went ahead and I got the butter lettuce I should have I should have only bought one because I already I still had one and I didn't realize I had one but 
it's okay. I uh, got some stuff up there. So yeah, we're gonna just work on, this is gonna stay just like this. I'm gonna clean it and then put water in it. I think you also, I think I'm just gonna put water in it and then refresh it every couple of days. Cut this up, put this in water, peel these, cut them up into sticks. I don't know if you keep these in water or not. Radishes, same thing. Cut up the strawberries and then put these in the jars as well. So still got a lot to do. So let's go ahead and get to it. Here's another one. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one.
so everything is all done. I've got my chicken. Here are the radishes cut up. These are the rest of the grapes. These are clean. These are not. I just took them off the little vine stem, whatever it's called. So there's that. Put my chicken with the rest of the stuff. And there we go. I am all ready for the week. That did not take more than an hour. I'm gonna go ahead. I always take the thigh, I always separate the chicken breast from the dark meat because chicken breast is zero for me and this is not. So the kids usually eat this, but, or I'll make it with a dinner. But that's going up there. And then I just need to find a spot for the radishes and the grapes. So these, I'll probably put up there on top of the thing. And the same with that. I'll just go ahead and put it on top of the chicken noodle soups. And there we go. We are all ready, prepped, ready to go for the week. We've got our stuff over here, still all organized and good to go. And yeah. So I figured I would show you guys how I make this. This is a copycat Starbucks. This is the Tango Tea. I always order it with a splash of vanilla sweet cream and then three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. We're gonna make it at home. It's gonna be just as good, I'm believing it, okay? So, I always use my Keurig because I just use it for the hot water. This is the tea that I believe that they use, and even if it's not, it tastes very similar and it looks very similar to the tea that they use. So, this is the Tezo Passion. You can just get it from really any place, Target, Walmart, any grocery store. Uh, and this just has hibiscus, orange peel, rose hips, caffeine free because it's herbal. I cannot do caffeine. So, what I do is I just go ahead and I'm actually going to pour some because I already have my water filtered. And it's just easier. I just go ahead and do it like this. So, pour it up. Well, I'm going to pour the rest of my water in there. And I have it poured between the 8 and the 10. I don't know if that's like ounces or what, but that's just what it says on the side of my Keurig. This is what I love about this water, this water uh, filter, y'all. <laughs> this little water machine I got going on is like I can literally instead of standing there with my dang water bottle I can like go do something else so now I need to because I'm going to use a plastic cup to actually drink this out of it's obviously not the best for you to um what's it called for you to like put hot stuff in so I'm just going to go ahead and brew the water and then I literally let this tea steep for five minutes. So that's that. And again, I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna press and I get to be hands free. I freaking love this thing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at what a pretty color this tea is. Oh, hold on. Isn't it such a pretty color? It's gonna deepen, you know, as it kind of steeps. But I figured while this is steeping, I would go ahead and show you how I make my burrito bowl, which is what I'm gonna have for lunch probably pretty much all this week. Okay, so here is everything I'm gonna need. Three ounces of chicken, half a cup of cooked white rice, about two cups of the butter lettuce, one tablespoon, of this cilantro lime sauce, which is really good. I'm gonna cut up this one whole tomato and have it in there. I'm gonna do a fourth of an avocado, this whole entire bag of Doritos, and I think it's like 20, 20 grams of cheese I'm gonna do. 
And then of course, my cauliflower rice. So what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and put in a bowl all of the things that I'm going to want to heat up, which is my rice and my chicken. So I'm gonna do that first. Here we go, we've got, I think this is like 13 points. So we got 13 points. This is a lot of food, y'all. This is a lot of food. Using the cauliflower rice to bulk this up helps so much to kind of give you that volume. But this is 13 point chipotle bowl, basically. Homemade chipotle bowl. Okay, now for my Starbucks at home, I am going to My camera's about to die, so I might not be able to get it all, but I'm gonna do one tablespoon of this vanilla caramel. And then I'm gonna add, I guess about a tablespoon. I don't know, I usually get, I always get three pumps whenever I order this at Starbucks, but I don't know what that equates to in like tablespoon form. So I just go ahead and mix this in here. So I'm just gonna do a tablespoon, try that, see how we like it. And then a tablespoon of creamer. That was a little a little more it's okay when you get this okay so my camera died i'm trying to get it as much as i can so that's what it looks like and then i'm just going to go ahead and add just a tiny bit of water so if you just want a tiny bit of water you press the button and then you stop it when you're done so that is my perfect little at home starbucks drink that is delicious and then my Chipotle, homemade Chipotle. Mm. This tastes dang near identical to the Starbucks one, by the way. Um, so I'm gonna go enjoy my at-home Starbucks and my at-home Chipotle. And I'm gonna finish laundry and watch some TV finish out my Sunday. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, huge thank you to SimPure for partnering with me on this video. Link and discount code is going to be all listed down below in the description box. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys want to see more Dana Life vlogs, meal prepping, what I'm eating, all of that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I love you guys. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.